Hey everyone, welcome back to our DC News. This is episode 6, and today's addition to the web series is dedicated to the news that broke last Friday, being July 5th, that Matt Reeves' DCU project looks to be cancelled. Now some people are panicking about this and acting very angry towards James Gunn, but let's see if this time it's valid. So Variety have reported that the Arkham Asylum TV series is not moving forward at max. As Variety exclusively reported in October 2022, Antonio Campos has come on board to serve as writer and showrunner of the series, which was originally meant to be set within the world of Matt Reeves' The Batman. But according to an individual with knowledge of the situation, Campos's version will not proceed. It is still possible, though, that a new project set within the infamous Gotham City Asylum could be developed in the future, the individual noted. Thus ends, at least for now, the show's complicated part path to the screen. It was originally announced in July 2020 with a series commitment, but at that time it was meant to focus on the inner workings of the Gotham PD as featured in The Batman. Terence Winter was attached to write and executive produce, but he left the project in November 2020 due to creative differences. Giri Haji creator Joe Barton was then brought in to write, but Warner Brothers ultimately parted ways with Barton as well. Reeves would then say in an interview in 2022 that the Gotham PD show was not happening, but that the story had started to evolve into what became the Arkham Asylum show, which he described as being like a horror movie or a haunted house that is Arkham. Campos then joined, but not long after that, it was announced that James Gunn and Peter Safran would be taking over DC Studios and launching a rebooted film and television universe. In a series of social media posts in December 2023, Gunn said that the show was still in development and clarified that it was meant to be set within the new DCU rather than in the same world as the Batman. So it looks like Variety is saying that the show that Gunn said was set in the DCU has has now been cancelled, or is at least not moving forward at max. Both Variety and Deadline hear that the project isn't necessarily dead, but just definitely won't happen in its current form, and I wonder if this has something to do with it not being a max original. At the bottom of the Variety article, they stated it was also recently announced that a Green Lantern TV series has been greenlit, but it will be branded as an HBO original rather than max due to a new content delineation HBO and Max Bond Clacy Boys revealed to Variety in June. So maybe the reason why the show is technically cancelled at max is just because it's moving over to an HBO original like the Green Lantern show did, but Variety and Deadline have only heard the cancelled part of that news, and the fact they are saying the project isn't necessarily dead is because they have heard that they still plan on creating the show, but just didn't hear that they want it produced with the other section of their company. I think some people go into outrage mode because they hate James Gunn and the Batman Part 2 has been delayed again, and they assume that is because of Gunn and not because Matt Reeves takes time with writing scripts, so I think this could potentially be an overreaction. The writer of the article expanded upon this report saying, to clarify, James Gunn said months ago that the Arkham Asylum show would be part of the DCU rather than Reeves' world of the Batman, but there is now no Arkham show in active development at DC. They could always revisit it later with a brand new writer, but the original project that Max committed to in 2020 is dead. That was the Gotham PD show that Reeves said kind of evolved into an Arkham show. Anything developed now would be wholly new and separate from that. So basically from that, I hear that the old show that was a Gotham PD show that has now been evolved into an Arkham show that Campos was attached to and was being set in the Batman universe is officially dead. And the DCU Arkham show is the wholly new and separate show that James Gunn was pitched. I think this article has confused things. I think it is confirming that the original Batman Universe show is cancelled, and the fact that no Arkham show is in active development at DC is because they may be shifting it from Max over to HBO. Look at how the article's title specifically mentions at Max. It leaves the door open for other avenues. I think DC Studios and Casey Bloys, the head of HBO and Max, want brand new DCU shows to be produced through HBO rather than Max. 
Netflix, which is why we have it confirmed that the Green Lantern show is an HBO original rather than a Max original. They made that very clear. So maybe they are having to technically take the Arkham show out of active development to then technically create it over at HBO instead. It's probably a behind the scenes technicality that helps them in some way. So Creature Commandos and Peacemaker Season 2 are Max originals because their old idea was to just make it through Max, but then maybe DC Studios talked with Casey and they decided the best idea moving forward was for DCU shows to be made through HBO rather than Max. At least that's what I hope is the case. I think from a logical perspective, I don't think Gunn would talk about creating the Arkham show within the DCU if it was going to be cancelled. He took a lot of time to explain how the show was always pitched as a DCU show, and I also think the article is referring to the original Arkham show set within the Batman universe. Hopefully some more information comes out soon to clarify this news because no one really understands what's going on. And unfortunately, that is all the news for this week's episode. Everything else has been Superman news, and I have covered that all in my Road to Superman videos, which have been doing incredibly well, so thank you very much for that support. Hopefully though, this time next week, we have some other projects with some news to talk about. But that is all for today's episode of our DC News. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload. I hope to see you here again next episode, so until then, I hope you have a great week. Bye!